Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my latest Blu-ray haul video. So, before we get into the haul of it all, let's go ahead and check out the winners from our last haul video. All right, so here is everyone I saw that asked to be entered in for Top Gun, the classic action Tom Cruise film. Is everybody excited? Do you hope that it releases in 2021? Are people pumped? Let me know. But our winner for the OG Top Gun is... Gil Tease. Congratulations. All right, next up, we have everyone asking to be entered in for Mulan, our animated Disney classic. And these were all of the folks. Did everyone watch the remake? What did you think of the remake? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Let me know. <laughs> and here our winner is... Ellen Channing, congratulations. And then finally, everyone who asked to be entered in for Tenet, the latest from Christopher Nolan that caused quite the debate over pandemic movie going and how we should continue with the release and is largely seen as one of the reasons that Warner Brothers went to their HBO Max theater coinciding release dates. But our winner for Tenet is Jeff Ray. Congratulations. So congratulations to the winners. What I need from each of you is for you to go ahead, message me, Twitter, Instagram, slide into them DMs, whatever works best for you. Say, hey, it's me. I won. This code will verify and I'll send that code on over for you. Rocking this new Golden Girls shirt I just got because the queen, Betty White, just turned 99 years old. Insane. Since I last updated y'all on my latest Blu-ray haul video, I have picked up several films. I'm just gonna go ahead and share them with you all today. Starting with an A24 film that I'm so happy I was able to purchase. A24 released this special edition of Midsummer. Now I did not buy the copy when they first released it over the summer. I was debating, I was like, ooh, that's a steep price. <laughs> but since then I have bought a 4K TV and a 4K player. So since the Blu-ray and the 4K were the exact same price on this A24 exclusive, I certainly wanted to wait until I could justify purchasing the 4K edition because just look how stunning this is. Oh my gosh. Then we pull it out. Now, as you see here, this includes the director's cut, which the regular Blu-ray did not include. And just, I mean, this packaging is amazing. Like, this certainly is criterion level amazing. So there is the disc, which is so good, right? <laughs> And then, of course, it comes with this booklet that is full of artwork from Ragnar Pearson. So, yeah, a lot of it is not safe for work artwork in here. <laughs> but I think it's just an amazing accompaniment to the film itself. Really beautiful stuff in here. I think this is an amazing collector's edition to buy. And once I got that 4K player, I rushed over to the A24 site and picked this up as soon as it was once again available. The only thing is that it's big, so it's not huge but it's too big to fit like in here <laughs> so it has to go with like Godzilla off to the side but did anyone else pick up this A24 exclusive collectible packaging for Midsummer to get that director's cut if you did you also love it let me know in the comments and then we are back with new Studio Ghibli steelbooks, starting with the classic Spirited Away. And I am so excited to be adding this one, obviously, to my steelbook collection because, of course, I own the Blu-ray already. We open this up. 
we have this beautiful disc art as per usual and then we have this little booklet also as per usual with some inside cover art as well once again it's just a really small kind of leaflet book but some beautiful stuff in here as well and then moving right along also we have castle in the sky from studio ghibli now i love this like lavender purple personally <laughs> but of course just very simple steel books which is an interesting choice i'd say especially for studio ghibli it's so colorful and creative to have these really simple steel books it's not quite my favorite but i'm just excited to have the films on steel book in general now i did not own this one previously so this is a first time buy for me we have the disc art the inside cover artwork as well and then once again our little leaflet book here including things such as a director's statement so i'm excited to add castle in the sky to my collection i've only seen this film once and it's been quite some time so definitely looking forward to re-watching this film Moving right along in my anime pickups, I got Pokemon The Power of Us. So this was one of their theatrically released films, I believe in 2000. 18 it might have been 2019 but i was waiting to pick this up i was hoping it would go on a bit of a sale didn't really but i just picked it up anyway i quite enjoyed this film actually i think the recent theater outputs from pokemon in their films have been quite solid between i choose you and now the power of us they have a new film coming out in 2021 and when we open it up yay you know me i love some good disc art and then we actually have some really cool just inside cover art, which I greatly appreciate on standard Blu-ray cases like this. So any other Pokemon fans out there, did you pick this one up when it first came out? Do you have the films? Let me know. And then my final pickup for this haul is Possessor, the uncut version. Now this was my personal favorite horror film of 2020. And if you check out my top films of 2020, you might just see this on the list. Now, I thought this was just a really well-executed sci-fi body horror film. I had to get that uncut version. Once again, picked up the 4K. We open this bad boy up. There's this little, like, just leaflet advertisement. And then wonderful disc art. So, yay. So excited about that. Now, I will say I was a little bit disappointed because I didn't realize this was only 4K and Blu-ray. It didn't come with the digital code and I assumed it would. And obviously I was really looking forward to giving out that code and more importantly, letting someone else experience this film because I think it's gone so underseen. But since this doesn't have a code, the other three were animes and then that collector's edition, that means I didn't have any digital codes for this haul, which is such a bummer. But I wanted to go ahead and make this haul video anyway so that we can get the winners from our last digital code giveaway and to just share my latest haul with you all. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are eligible for all giveaways on the channel and so that you are notified the next time I release a Blu-ray haul video that may have a digital code giveaway. Also, what did you think of the films I picked up in this haul? Do you own any of them? What are your thoughts on the films? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!